my angel pies and welcome back to my channel okay so welcome back this Ooh, don't know what happened to my voice there. This is actually my huge Zara haul part two. So if you haven't already, you probably should go over and watch that first. I filmed a part one Zara and this is my part two. And today we're going to go through the bags, shoes and accessories from the new in autumn and winter ranges in Zara. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie, aka Sophrina, and I make many videos like this, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. I am obsessed with Zara. I absolutely love it, especially around autumn and winter. We have a lot to get through. I'm not going to ramble. Let's just get started. Also, if you have watched my part one, this is that top that I was a little unsure about, but I've kept it. But bear with me if we have a couple of knit slips, because there's a real risk of that in today's video. Okay, so the first things I wanted to show you was my new boots. And these are the boots. I actually am in love with them. These are gorgeous black boots and they're kind of like snow boots because they have thick soles at the bottom which are really grooved, is that the word? They've got huge grooves in them. So they're going to be absolutely perfect for the icy weather we may get this winter. I really needed some nice black boots. I think my favourite part though of the whole boot is the ankle bit. So the ankle bit is tight, it's almost like stretchy material and I really like that look when you're wearing tights if you have boots that kind of wrap around your ankle tightly. I think that's a really flattering look on me anyway. I really like these. They have zips on the inside so it makes it really easy to get them on and off. just think they are so cute. One of the best things about these was the price. These were only £30. I think that is super affordable for some nice boots from Zara. I have actually bought lots of pairs of shoes from Zara and generally their boots last, last, last. So if you want some long lasting boots and some timeless ones, I mean you can't go wrong with black boots really. Okay, so next up, Angel Pies, I purchased a new bag. And I have actually been eyeing this up on Zara for ages. And I didn't know whether to buy it because of the price. It's so affordable. I didn't know whether I would like it in real life. But actually, I love it. It's just a simple faux leather backpack. And I don't actually own a grey backpack and I wear a lot of grey things. So I feel like this is actually a necessity. Just justifying my endless spending now. But I think this is really good. I think this is so cute. I love the flap at the top. The flap's really cute and makes the whole bag look really plain, clean and simple. The bag does up via a drawstring at the top and it feels really soft. One thing I will say about this is because it's faux leather, it probably won't last you as long, which is okay because this was actually only £20, which is so affordable. I think it's from the Zara TRF section, so it's like the more affordable section you get in Zara, but this, I think, is really worth it, and it's really cute, and it's probably something I'm gonna wear a lot. Okay, so while shopping on Zara, I looked in their accessory section, mainly at their belts, because I really need a nice new belt, and I saw this gorgeous stretch waist belt, with a lovely gorgeous gold buckle and I actually fell in love with this. I feel like this is really trendy. The belt itself is fully stretchy. I really like the look of this and I love the gold buckle at the front. It's like a real statement belt which is going to look perfect to break up like black outfits. It might even go with the outfit I currently have on. This belt was actually £15.95 so not too bad. I don't really buy too many belts so I don't know if that's too expensive or not. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. And I purchased mine in a UK size 30. That was the smallest size I could see. It was either a 30 or a 32. So I just kind of went for the smaller one. I took a risk. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I'm gonna quickly try it on now. Okay, so now I have the belt on. It's actually a little bit too big. If I'm going to wear this around my waist with like a black shirt dress or something, which is kind of what I had in mind, a little bit too big around the waist. I don't think it's too big that I have to worry though. So I feel like I can deal with that, but I'm really not sure with belts. I don't know the sizings properly. So I thought size 30 would be really, really small 
as I said, there was only two sizes available, size 30 or size 32. So I went for the smaller and it's still a little bit too big, but who knows? I think it's really cute and I love the detailing. Okay, so we got myself another little bag. How flipping cute is this bag? This is described as a city bag and I think it is the cutest little thing. I always need something like this, like something not too big and not bulky that I'm just going to hate dragging around London with me but something small that I can just put my purse phone and maybe a lipstick or two in there and I'm done so this I really really love it is faux leather again which is what we like it it was only £19.99 so again it's from the more affordable range of Zara it also has the option to have a long strap with a silver chain so you can actually dress this up a little bit more if you wanted to but this is really so Sweet. I love the buckle. I think the buckle is really cute. I wouldn't mind this buckle to be in gold though because then it would match my belt. You know, that's that's a bit of a shame. Might have to look back online. I also love the quilted effect at the bottom. It's a little bit Chanel. You can't go wrong. Okay, the next items I think are going to be my favourite out of the whole haul. These black boots that I got from Zara, they are so unbelievably cute. They're so different, which is what I like. They're really trendy black boots. So they're faux leather, shiny, kind of patent boots, but they have this like really, let me show you this one. They have this kind of cowboy type style to them. So they're slitted all the way down at the sides and they're kind of rimmed with these gold beads. They look really cute. I just think they are actually gorgeous. They're quite pointed. They are actually coming out a lot shinier on camera than they are in real life. I'm just looking in the viewfinder. They're not actually as shiny in real life, which I'm glad about because I don't want them too, too shiny. They are pointed at the toes and I just think they are adorable. They're completely flat ankle boots, which is what I like because that's pretty much all I wear. I don't really wear heels anymore. I just feel like I can't walk in them, so I refuse to wear them. The thing about these again was they were £30. So in this haul, I purposely have bought affordable items. I wanted to show you that you can get some really nice pieces from Zara for affordable prices. £30 is so, so good for this season to sell black boots. You won't find better prices and better quality elsewhere, so I always, always stand by the Zara boots. Okay, so the next things I put in my basket was two huge scarves. So the first scarf I put in my basket is this gorgeous like tweed style tartan scarf. This is actually beautiful and it looks so sweet on the girl online. It's really, really soft and really cosy feeling. It's one of those scarves that I feel like you will uh, get my boobs out. My whole boob is just out there great but I feel like it's one of these scarves that you will just have wrapped around you just like chilling wherever you go you don't have to take it off you know when you go to a restaurant and it's still quite cold but you have to take your scarf off yeah I'm not taking this off I'm keeping it on all the time I think this looks so cute and so wintry loving these vibes so this scarf was £19.99 obviously it's only in one size Definitely think it's worth it. It's such a soft feeling, lovely scarf. It will also go with many, many out. Yeah, I need to hold my top closed. It will also go with many, many outfits because of the colouring. The colouring is very neutral and it's very autumn and winter. I feel like this is a staple. So I purchased another scarf in their scarf range. This is a little bit different. It feels actually a lot nicer. I don't even know what it's made out of, but it feels so nice. This scarf was £25.99, so a little bit more expensive, but I absolutely love it. It's this gorgeous burnt orange colour, which is such a vibe this autumn, and it is huge. Let me tell you, it's so thick. Yeah, so look. Look how big that is. That is huge. So if you want a nice, big, huge, plain scarf, you're going to find a really nice one on Zara. Obviously it's not super cheap, but it's not expensive in my opinion for a really lovely luxury scarf that you're probably gonna keep. A color like this is going to be timeless. You're going to wear it for many autumns and winters to come. So. Okay, not gonna lie, bought myself some more boots, but these I thought are so cute. So these are two-tone boots. So at the back there's a faux suede and then at the front they're made of faux leather. They're again black flat ankle boots. I live in things like these and I always get them from Zara. 
they are really really sweet I really like these what I love the most is on the buckle at the side as you can see they have a little pearl detail here so it looks they look really dainty and really pretty boots these will be so perfect to wear with like a nice cutesy dress some tights during the day just a cute all-round outfit so these are a little bit more expensive these were actually 40 pounds I personally think that is still ridiculously affordable for black boots in this season. I purchased mine in a UK size 3. I don't know why I'm telling you that because they're my feet size. So I also bought myself a turban style headband. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit gutted about the way it's turned up. It has like loads of bits of crap on it basically and look I don't know what that is like a gross old sticker from something else so I, I'm, I'm a bit gutted by how it's turned up it also looks quite frayed as if it's just been played around with a lot but anyway these these turban headbands do actually look really cute and I was looking for something that could keep my ears warm throughout this cold season but without having to wear a hat because sometimes it's nice to have your hair up but if I wear a hat I just look like a boy it's not as good as I thought it would be or as I think it should be to be fair when you're buying from Zara you expect things to be good is that someone's hair I feel like this is going back in the box okay guys so that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video I think my favorite thing had to be all three of the boots to be fair and also the grey rucksack I love 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 Zara for shoes and bags so if you are looking for some shoes and bags Zara always offers some amazing ones so if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos thank you very much for watching and thank you for your continued support on this channel I love you very much and I will see you again very very soon Mwah. bye